Welcome back to another Optum Team production. Today we'll have a question and answer session with Sonali Sarange and learn what's new in Optum Development Studio in Pure Query. I'm Sonali Sarange and I'm the architect for Pure Query Tools for Optum Development Studio. What are the top three things you would like to tell us about in the latest release of Optum Development Studio? Firstly, we renamed the product from Data Studio Developer to Optum Development Studio. And it's hard to talk about the top three features because we've really added a lot of new features. Uh, but IBM comes closer to their integrated data management vision in this release. Uh, to call out the top three, Oracle support has been added. So if you want to develop applications using Oracle, or if you have existing applications, you'll now get the same benefits as you did for the IBM databases. You can also very easily create test or development environments and databases using a simple copy-paste mechanism, and this works for heterogeneous or homogeneous databases. And finally, you can get advice on how you can tune your queries within the application and quickly um, improve the queries in your applications to have production-ready applications built very quickly and easily. What kind of Oracle support does Optum Development Studio provide? If you are an organization that uses Oracle databases as well as IBM databases, and you need to build applications and databases on those two platforms, then using Optum Data Development Studio, you can now get a consistent usability and productivity uh, to build those applications. You can build pure query applications uh, with the same ease of use you've been used to using Data Studio Developer, or if you have existing applications using Hibernate, JPA, or just plain JDBC for Oracle, you can not only just get insight into the SQL of those applications, but you can gain information on the health of that SQL using Explain. Most of the new uh, Optum Development Studio 2.2 features are available now for Oracle and for all IBM databases. This is Optum Development Studio 2.2. On the right side is the Data Source Explorer, and I have a connection here to my Oracle database. You can do your regular activities, such as view contents of your database, or you can browse the contents of the tables, uh, schemas, and so forth. I'm now going to generate some pure query code. You can, you can use the same dialogues that you've been used to for IBM databases. On the left side here, I have a package explorer with an Oracle application. It contains an existing application and uh, the new pure query code that we just added. Looking at the SQL outline, you can now see all the SQL and you can also see the health of your SQL, such as cost and cardinality. Just as before, you can look at the performance, and you can get these benefits for Pure Query as well as Hibernate or GP applications that use JDBC. What can you share with us about creating tests and development databases? Within a development environment, it's really important uh, and required to be able to create similar databases and test and development uh, uh, environments. Using Optum Development Studio, you can now copy-paste uh, a database at a database level or a table level and paste it onto another homogeneous database within uh, IBM databases or even onto Oracle. And if you use the Optum Test Data Manager, you have the ability to mask any sensitive information and get production-like uh, databases, uh, but subsets of those in your development environment, which again helps you build production-ready applications much better. Let's look at how copy-paste works. I'm going to copy my Oracle table and paste it onto a DB2 server. You can copy at table level or a database level. When pasting, you have an option of masking the data with privacy information if you have Optum Test Data Manager, or you can directly paste 
the objects and the data if you are just simply moving from development to test. How about data privacy integration? How will developers use it? In an organization, an architect would typically define models that would, uh, that would mark certain columns in the model as private. And those models need to be available to developers so they can build applications that do not use uh, these pri this private information inappropriately. With Optum Development Studio, you can now use an, a model that an architect has created using IDA and bring an associated with a connection, and they get insight into how the private columns have been used in their application um, using, using SQL Outline. What is Optum Query Tuner, and how can a developer use it? Optum Query Tuner is a new product that IBM has released which gives experts advice on how you can tune your SQL. With Optum Development Studio 2.2, a developer can now seamlessly invoke Optum, uh, Optum Query Tuner when it's installed in Shellshare mode. And so developers can get expert advice to tune their queries and improve them much proactively at development time. So it's the cost associated with doing such an improvement later on in production or even in test is greatly reduced. Thank you.